99% of PC users are not aware of this Android OS. Look at this. It's working smoothly on my 2GB RAM PC. So hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we will install Thunder Operating System with Dual Boot. Before that, let's talk about the system requirements. To run this OS, you should have a minimum of 2GB RAM, a dual core processor, and an inbuilt graphics card as well. One more thing, installing this OS can be quite complicated, so be sure not to skip any part of the video, otherwise, you might face errors during the boot process. So now let's move on to the computer screen, and I'll guide you through the rest of the process. Let's roll. Before we proceed with the installation process, let me show you the specifications of my PC so that all your doubts regarding system requirements are clarified. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. You can easily download all these files from my website, and if you encounter any issues with the download, I have provided a link to a video in the description. Watch that video for guidance on downloading the files. Firstly, we'll install Disk Genius. Installing it is very simple. First, extract the zip file. Then launch the setup. After that, choose the directory for installation and complete the setup. After installation, copy these two files and paste them into the Disk Genius directory and then click on Replace button. Now, Disk Genius is successfully installed. Simply launch it. From this point onward, our main task begins, so it's crucial not to skip any part of the video. Otherwise, you might encounter errors during the boot process. First, you need to select the partition where you want to install the Thunder OS. For instance, if I'm installing it in the 8GB drive, I'll select the 8GB partition. Be careful not to accidentally select a Windows partition or any other partition containing important data. After that, right-click on the partition and choose the format option. Then, select EXT4. After that, type Thunder OS in the volume label. Now, click on Format. After that, open this drive and create a new folder inside it and name this folder Thunder OS. Inside this folder, create another new folder and name it Data. In the next step, you need to extract the Thunder OS ISO file. After the extraction is complete, you need to copy these exact files that I am copying and paste them into Disk Genius. Now copy this boot file and paste it into Disk Genius. Now Disk Genius has done its job. You can close it. In this step, we need to install Grub2Win. In order to install it, you must have an internet connection, otherwise, it won't install. The download has already started here. During the download, make sure not to click on this spot on the screen, otherwise, the download might fail. Once the download is complete, you will see the Grub2Win logo on the desktop. Simply double-click on it to launch. Now, go to the Manage Boot menu and click on Add New Entry. After that, you need to go to the Type section and select the sub-menu here. In the title section, you need to type Thunder OS. After that, click on Edit Custom Code. Once you're in this section, copy the grub code I have provided, then paste it here. Afterward, save it and click on OK. Now, click on the Apply button. In the next step, you need to tick mark this operating system and again click on the Apply button. So, friends, our work is done here. Now, you need to restart your PC. As you can see, the boot menu has appeared. Select Grub2 for Windows from this boot menu. After that, choose Thunder OS and press Enter. Now, press Enter again. After pressing Enter, the loading process of our Thunder OS will start and it will take around five to 10 minutes to complete, so let's allow it to finish. After the loading is complete, we need to set up our OS, so let's do it. So, guys, finally, Thunder OS has been installed, and you can see how smoothly it's running on 2GB RAM. 
Everything inside this OS has been fully customized, from the start menu to the mouse cursor. If I show you the Android version of this OS, you will find Android 7. Many people may hesitate to try this OS thinking there might be a Wi-Fi problem. But if I show you, you can see my Wi-Fi is currently connected without any issues. So overall, my experience with this operating system has been quite good, and I would recommend you to give it a try. Don't forget to share your feedback in the comments, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and share with your friends as well.